Welcome back everyone. Here we are watching some Olympia practice before we take on the University of North Carolina. It is week five of the college football season going up against the Tar Heels and I have some big news. Big news. As you know, after three games, a um, essentially a player can sit out the rest of their season and that counts as another redshirt. That is a part of the new transfer portal rules. So, unfortunately, this has taken place with one of our players, and I will go ahead and just go ahead and say who that is, because we are not going to hate him for that. We are going to wish him really well in his journey forward, and, well, we're going to wish him well when we see him soon. Atari Mason, the once kind of, I don't want to say prodigy, but really hero quarterback, true freshman quarterback that came in actually beat North Carolina as well as a few other teams such as Iowa um, and Arizona. Three ranked teams in a row actually Atari beat with the Olympia Raiders in season two. Um, unfortunately, he after that season really fell off as a quarterback in season two. Um, became uh, got converted to a wide receiver as a matter of fact. Actually was a pretty darn good wide receiver for us for two years and now going into his senior season really hasn't seen a lot of play we have good depth at receiver even though i think atari should be getting more touches we have um, way too much depth at quarterback it just it just was not going to work out for him and thus he has decided to sit out the rest of his season he will be transferring it to the university of utah state and will be transitioning back to quarterback and he's doing that because it looks like they actually have a pretty open road ahead for QB. Um, as far as I know, they're really decent senior quarterback that we will be seeing later this season. I don't, I'm not looking forward to that. Um, he's graduating, and they don't really have anybody ready to step up. A few true freshmen that are redshirting, maybe they will take the reins. It's going to be a battle for sure for Atari, but with the talent level he has, it would not surprise me for him to get back into that QB role and flourish. Um, he's learned so much. He's become such a smarter player since transitioning to wide receiver and really took it gracefully. So no hard feelings towards Atari. The team is very supportive of him. Um, all the guys love him. His uh, roommate, Tyler, you know, is, is just... I, one of the comments Tyler Hunt made was that Atari is a better quarterback than Tyler and could potentially be the best quarterback on this team. Um, and so, you know, we'll see if going to Utah State really unlocks his potential. As such, he will be playing immediately next year. He will be immediately eligible, um, and we will see him at our week against Utah State. And uh, other big news around the block. Just going to go ahead and jump into a little bit more. There is talk of a potential conference move. We don't know what that will look like yet. Uh, it's a little bit far out anyway because we have at least a few more years that we're signed with the Mountain West Conference. Of course, we could always pull out early, kind of like you've seen Texas and Oklahoma do, a lot of uh, teams in the American. Um, we'll see how that looks going forward. I'm not sure what conference we would go to. Pac-12 seems the obvious choice, but I, I just, I don't know for Pac-12 material. I'm going to say it. Listen, I don't know if this team fits in with the identity of the Pac-12. Um... I look at the Pac-12 and it's a lot of big state schools, a lot of, well, like I said, big schools. And Olympia, while big, is not not to that level yet. You you haven't seen Boise State go Pac-12 for a reason. It's not because Boise State couldn't compete in the Pac-12, because they absolutely could. There are the years they could have won the Pac-12. It's because that's not their culture. They just don't quite fit that style. The Mountain West does fit us. But, due to all the conference realignment happening, I know you probably have seen the news on the American teams going to the Big 12, and the Conference USA teams going to the American, and going to the Sun Belt, and obviously we will be seeing that change in our next season um, of college football. Olympia doesn't necessarily fit the identity of the Mountain West moving forward, so you could see potential move to the Big 12. You could see a potential move, probably not, obviously not the SEC. SEC is 100% out. I don't think the ACC fits just because they're across the country. It wouldn't make sense in my opinion. Pac-12, still an option due to the regional regionality. Um, I think the Big 12 right now is our most likely fit, surprisingly. Um, you could see a move to the American. I don't know if that would be an upgrade. That might be a side grade at best. We will see. 
Sunbelt obviously would not be an upgrade. Mac probably would not be an upgrade, although the Mac would be fun to play, and I would I have to admit. But all we can do really right now is hypothesize and rumor about where we're gonna go. We might just stay pat. Who knows when the new TV deal comes up? We'll see just how our uh, athletic director decides to take things moving forward. So yeah, big news out of the way. Atari Mason transitioning back to QB and transferring to Utah State. He will sit out the rest of the season. Thank you so much for watching. We will take UNC on in week five coming up soon. Have a great rest of your day.